Why do you want to share your story? I wasn't raised as an extremist, but I was hungry for power. I didn't have anyone to explain, you know, you're being indoctrinated. Joining me right now is Ricky Stern, director of the new documentary on Discovery Plus, A Radical Life. Ricky, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. The documentary is fascinating. Um, I, I want to hear what first connected you to this story and what made you want to tell it how you did. I have always really been interested in radicalization and extremism. And um, when I learned about Tanya Joya, I read the um, the Atlantic article that Graham Wood had written. It was an ex excerpt from his book as well about Tanya's husband, John George Liss. And the project was brought to me. I had been working on a series with someone about radicalization, radical women. And it just sort of all gelled at once. And I, I and for me, I'd always really been interested in what draws women to ISIS. So when I learned about Tanya and her background and the fact that her story, the timeline of her story in terms of her radicalization actually parallels the formation of the ISIS, of, of the Islamic State of ISIS. You definitely told two parallel stories there. It was the internal, struggle that she was going through and then the worldwide events that were happening. Did you did you kind of let it all unfold as you were speaking with her? The first time I spent four sort of intensive days and I knew that it was important to allow enough time in the interview because Tanya had been back from um, Syria for quite a while and has told her story before. And I think in news and sound bites, you know, people get sort of media trained as to here's my story and here's how I believe and here's what I feel. And I was really just interested in understanding what drew her to her extremist beliefs. And as she says, she's she feels of herself that she's a radical person and um, and that in years to come, she doesn't know what she'll believe. And so, you know, I think we're seeing now more than ever in the United States, and around the world, uh, these radical groups, these anti-government and hate groups that are forming. And I think it's really important to have this conversation to understand what draws people to these extremist views. In her case, it was ISIS, uh, but we see around the world now and here in our own home, um, people feeling really disenfranchised, feeling alienated, and and, and looking for something to, to become part of something that I think um, at, the, at the underlying level and at the stem, the genesis of it is, is hate. So they're looking, you know, so he, fear and hate are propelling these kinds of very insular groups. And so that was really interesting to me. My name is Tanya Joya and I was married to the highest ranking American in ISIS. John and I met online when we were 19. He was a white upper middle class American from Texas. Growing up in the UK, I experienced racism every day. I saw him as my ticket out. What did you learn personally? What would you say now? How does one become radicalized? Well, I think what I learned and I think what you see in the film is that it's, you know, it's very easy and, and, and to look at the um, the actions of these extremist groups and to say they're all monsters. The actions are monstrous. The actions are terrible and heinous. Um, but the people who are drawn to it d d aren't born that way. They're not, they don't, they're, they're not necessarily in the beginning, you know, they've done terrible things. They made bad choices. And that was the thing that you realize about Tanya is that she's, she was a young girl feeling the racism, anti-Muslim sentiment of growing up as a Bangladesh girl in, in the UK, in South London. And she was very alienated and she was alienated in her home. She was alienated in society. She didn't fit in as a Western girl. She didn't fit in as a Muslim girl. And so the events, it was really a confluence of bad timing and opportunity 
post 9-11, her community, there were some extremists and she sort of fell into that group and made choices. I mean, I don't, I don't want to absolve her of her, what she did, but nor does she. I mean, she, 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 she talks about that in the film, but she fell into these extremist views. And I think that's the thing, if, if we're going to address this at all in the future, you know, we're now in the future, is to really, we need to understand it. We need to understand why people are becoming so other to our own feelings and, and using violence as a way of empowering themselves. A Radical Life is on Discovery Plus now. I'm Sari Cohen. I'll see you next time. This is my story.